Wow, we're just out harvesting in the garden and we have a lot of grapes this year. Uh, this is only our third year with the grapevine, so it's really a bountiful harvest considering how little time we've had them. We grew about 45 pounds, 20 kilos of grapes. So we're going to take these grapes and we're going to use the steam juicer to get the juice out of them and then we're going to make grape jelly out of it. So this is my setup. I have my steam juicer here and I'm going to drain into this uh, seven liter container. I should get, I imagine if I have 40 pounds of grapes, I should get about four liters to five liters from all of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the bottom of my steam juicer with water. I'm going to do several batches because these won't all fit into the steam juicer at once. And every time I do a new batch, I will fill this up again because you don't want it to go dry. And now I'm just going to add my grapes into the top here and putting the lid on, putting it over the burner and letting it go. And eventually it'll start to produce juice. The juice will just naturally through gravity go down into this uh, container that I have here. So that's my setup. And now it's just a matter of time. It takes about 45 minutes probably to do one of these bins. So we're looking at, you know, two hours, 15 minutes, something like that to pull off this project. So we'll see where we are in two hours. I'm also going to be adding just over a cup of sugar to each batch. And why I'm doing that is because it helps break down the fruit and gives you a better juice yield. Uh, you don't have to add sugar at this point, but it really does help break that fruit down and give you a higher juice yield. Most of the grapes are broken and the juice has come out of them. I have about two, a little over two liters for this first batch and that's about what I would expect to get out of this. So now I'm ready to empty the hopper and load up another batch of grapes and continue the cycle over. At this point, I'm gonna refill my water as well just to make sure I have enough in there. I don't want that to go dry. I still have lots of water in here. So I didn't use too much up just about a quarter of it, but I'm still gonna fill it up a bit more. What's nice about this method is you don't really have to worry about separating the grapes from the, from the stems. You can just put everything in here. It's also nice because it uses steam, uh, it does heat the juice, um, but it sterilizes everything as it goes along. So you don't really have to worry too much about bacterial loads. Put the lid back on and let her rip. Now I am curious. I'm curious to taste this juice and see what it's like. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. It's actually sweeter than I thought it would be, which is nice. It'll make great jelly. And I'm going to add my sugar again. Second batch is done and I pretty much filled this container. This holds seven and a half liters, eight quarts. So I've got about seven liters or about seven and a half quarts here, which is pretty good. Uh, it's more than I thought I'd get um, so far. And now this batch is done. All the little balloons have basically popped. So I'm going to dump this out always a little bit left in here and if you just tilt it forward maybe all right well, we're gonna load the hopper up again so it's loaded up and again I got a just under a cup of sugar there okay batch three is done and I filled this four liter four quart container up so I'm just going to load my last batch in. I'm going to put my lid back on. I'm going to fire it up and let her rip. And we'll see how much we get out of this last batch. Well, this was exciting. I got about 16 liters or 16 quarts or about the same size 
of grape juice from 20 kilos or 45 pounds of grapes. It's awesome. The next step is we're going to make this into grape jelly. And in order to do that, this needs to sit overnight in the fridge to cool down and for the sediment to fall to the bottom. The grape juice has been in the fridge overnight and it's the solids have settled to the bottom and I'm going to pour it through a double sheet of cheesecloth and I'm going to get out any solids and apparently grapes develop crystals. So I also want to get out any crystals that may be in this grape juice. Now our recipe calls for four liters of juice. So I'm just going to try to pour off four liters, which is pretty close to exactly what I have in here. And you can see at the bottom some solids and yeah, those are crystals. So you want to get those out in order to make a nice smooth grape jelly. So the rest of my ingredients are here. So for four liters of juice, there's 3.360 kilos of sugar, which is about 16 cups, which is a lot of sugar, and 80 grams of pectin. And then I have about a quarter cup of lemon juice, which is about 45 grams. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my pectin and my sugar together. I'm gonna add my juice to my pot. And then in goes the sugar. Oh yeah. It's like a sugar avalanche. My lemon juice goes in when it gets up to temperature. We're gonna bring this up to 100 degrees centigrade or 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The concoction is up to 220 degrees and it's boiling. And I'm just trying to keep it from boiling over. That's why I'm whisking so vigorously. This is really hot, so I ended up putting some gloves on and getting a longer whisk. But now my goal is to get this up to 225 degrees, which is going to take a while because a fair amount of water has to evaporate in order for this mixture to get to that heat. I'm going to start doing a test. So I have some ice in a bowl with a plate on top of that, and the plate is cold. So I can then take some of my jelly and I'll put it on there. And when it cools down, if it gels up, I know that I'm in the zone where I want to be. Just a little blob on there. And we'll just let that sit for a minute and then see how it goes. When that starts to hold its shape after it cools down, I know that it's ready to be jarred. So I brought the temperature of the jelly up to 226, actually. We've done some tests and it seems like it's okay. I'm going to add my lemon juice now. And we're going to take it off the heat, pour it into some jars and do a water bath canning method. So now I'm going to ladle my jelly into the mason jars. These are sterilized mason jars, and I'm going to do them all, and I'm going to put the lids on, and then in here they're going to go.